no matter how bad I feel, he is one friend that I can call on any hour and any time of the day. How many of you know what I'm talking about in this place? How many of you have been in a situation and you just knew that your relationship and how you see Christ, he could be that friend that sticks closer than a brother? Jesus will accept you the way you are. John 6.37 says this, all that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me, I will never drive him away. When you come to him and he's been your friend, there's nothing you can do to turn him away from being your friend. <clears throat> you don't have to buy him. You don't have to shout him. He loves you, and he's your friend just the way you are. All you have to do really is call him up. Are you following me? <clears throat> Jesus will accept you just the way you are. If you, have, if you have financial problems, he'll still accept you. If you have anger problems, he'll still accept you. He will accept you. I, if I can get about 10 people to just say, he will he accept me just the way I am. Doesn't matter what your race is. Doesn't matter what, what part of the world you come from. Jesus Christ will accept you. It's in the text. All the Father has given me will come to me. And whoever comes to me, I will never drive away. Oh, it's good to have somebody in our life that we can call on that will be a friend when you don't have a friend. There is a friend. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me calm down just a little bit. Uh, just like Jesus is a friend. Secondly, Jesus will be with you through every season of your life. Now, there's some of your friends that you hang around with. When you start going through some stuff, you don't see them no more. Is that right? You might see them on the 1st and on the 15th. Or you might see them once a month. Uh, okay, I just went over some of y'all head if you know what that means. That means they only come around you for financial reasons. Are you following me? Uh, you, you, you're having a season that you're having struggling with your home and with your loved ones, with your husband, with your wife. But I know somebody that will be with you through every season of your life. You could be in the hospital. And I know that there's some watching us by hospital by live stream right now. And they wish they could be here. But let me tell you something, those of you watching us. Jesus is right, but Mother Little, Jesus is right there with you. He's your friend, and he's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Now, the only reason why we stick closer to the brother, see, a brother or a sister, we are born with the same blood. Amen. But most of the time, our brother and our sister ain't our friends. Or, or are you following me? Uh, but, 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 but Jesus is a friend that stick closer than your own brother and your own sister. Are you following me? Oh, I, I thank God that I serve. that's the kind of God that I serve, that no matter what's, what I'm going on, the, the, the text says in Hebrews 13, 5, says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Isn't it good to have a friend that will never leave you nor forsake you, won't talk about you or talk behind your back, uh, get with other people and be talking all about you, but I'm telling you, Jesus don't have to talk. He will never talk about you to somebody else. Because he's that kind of a friend. He's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. That's the kind of friend he is. Our, our earthly friends may come and go based on circumstances or, 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 or based on misunderstanding. But Jesus will never leave you. If there is somebody in here, you need to know now that Jesus will never leave you. I don't care what your mama said. I don't care what your daddy said. Listen, you can tell somebody off and he'll still stay with you. Can I get a witness in this place? You can feel like you're going crazy and he'll still stay with you. You can miss church a few times and he'll stay, still stay with you. Because Jesus is omnipresent. He's omnipotent. He's everywhere at the same time. And you can't send him to the hospital because he's already there. And you know, I used to listen to some preachers and some deacons say, Lord, go, go down to the hospital and, uh, Put your hand over my uh, cousin's bed. And, and, and if, you, if you can, Lord, uh, touch him on the hind side. Well, you're going to have his surgery. But I've discovered that he's already there. Tell your neighbor he's already there. If he's already there, and he's their friend as well, he is our friend. And he's a friend that'll stick closer than a brother. Doesn't matter how old you get, sometimes we get older. 
And we seem like we got everything, you know, we, we kind of get in our old ways and stuff, and we need uh, some laughter around us. We need some friends around us. But one person that is still around us every age, every, uh, every.